Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Meng, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Fire Emblem 7 XC Mortal Sword. Now hold up, Meng, weren't you in the middle of a chapter when last we left off? Uh, yes I was. Um, I decided to end the recording uh, mid-chapter, and then as soon as I started it, I got absolutely horrendously murdered. After that, I did a few restarts, uh, after which I got horrendously murdered multiple times. And then I decided to check out my squad, and I realized that I probably have not been playing very optimally, considering I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. Um, so, I had a look at my recruits, like, only Marcus is promoted at this point. I believe at this point during the game, you should probably have all of them promoted. I've used Eagler a little bit too much. Yes, this is actually a bit of a pitfall. Um, I, I got a little bit obsessed with the ranking. I wanted to play quickly, because I liked getting a good ranking score, because, you know, I... I kind of like that aspect of Immortal Sword, considering it's very reminiscent of Advanced Wars. But I realized that, holy shit, my units are vastly underleveled, I've lost an archer, and considering you can bring all the units to this chapter, it's kind of a big handicap to be one unit short, so... I decided that I would just replay the game. Yes, I know if I hadn't played on Classic, I wouldn't have to, but I felt like doing it anyway. So, I started replaying the game, I played a little bit better this time around, and I decided that, hey! Um, I can actually play Chapter 1X now, because if you remember last time, I selected Chapter 3 without knowing that this actually makes you unable to play Chapter 1X, because in Immortal Sword, when a Gaiden Chapter pops up, you have to play it immediately. I was not aware of this, but I am now. Uh, however, um, I have a big announcement to make. Tomorrow over on Twitch, yes, I will be streaming again. I'll actually be streaming this game together with Luis. You may remember Luis from my hero stream, the uh, cute brunette with the big eyes. Um, <laughs> and she, uh, yeah, I, we're gonna be streaming together, and, uh, she actually streams Immortal Sword over on her Twitch channel as well, so I might actually be making a guest appearance over on her Twitch as well, but do tune in tomorrow, 9 o'clock Central European Time, it's about the same time when I usually stream on Sundays, and for everyone who's wondering, Mangs, when are you gonna start streaming again? Yes, uh, I will indeed be starting my streaming schedule again soon. The PME is about done, it's gonna come out uh, in late August, so you can definitely be looking forward to that. Anyway, guys, I thought that I, hey, you know what, why not, why, why not play Chapter 1X? I mean, why not, you know? I mean, we haven't seen it, so let's go. And of course, it doesn't have hard mode data, as most chapters in this game uh, doesn't, so... <laughs> let's begin. After they had shaken the pirates, Tristan spent much of the remaining voyage deep in thoughts. Oh, was he lost in thoughts all alone? Whilst the mercenaries argued among themselves and Reno sketched the crew at work, Tristan agonized over the silver and the mines it came from. How they clawed their way under our western hills by order of a handful ambitious Etrurian merchants! Western folks were being exploited for their labor in mines and working camps, under the whips of foreign profiteers. For now, these operations were small in scale and few in number, and... but in time, they would certainly grow and multiply. Tristan was in a position to trace this trade to its source and find those behind it, but in doing so, abandon his quests. Chapter 1X, a blockade! So someone has pointed out that this might actually be the mother of Echidna. Um, that's actually a pretty cool concept. She definitely could be the mother of Echidna, looking at her. She's like a strong woman and all that good stuff. Uh, I don't know if she has the same hair color, I'm sort of colorblind, but I think it's sort of similar. It's a little bit darker, isn't it? E Ekin has green hair, doesn't she? Are you unwell, Dara? Struck by way weariness, perhaps? Nothing alike, no. Merely burdened by the things I wish I did not know. The Silver Eye? Put it from your mind. I'm not signed on some liberation crusade across the Blasted Isles. I just think we should know what to expect when we land. I'm going to speak to Fargus. Fine by me. If you have a moment, Captain, I'd like to have words with you. Ah yes, this is Fargus. I hope he's playable. Aye, can I spare a minute or two? What's on your mind, lad? <laughs> Are you expected a port? I mean, should we be prepared for resistance? The last thing I need is some corrupt merchant baron trying to stamp out evidence of his crime. Nah, nothing akin to that. We should just need to buy some papers for docking. Then I do my business, and you do yours. You had better be right, Fargus. Your little venture has already caused us more trouble than I have the patience to bear. Trust me, the last thing I want is to make an enemy of ye, Celestes. That 
Things will go fine, just you watch. Very well, departing on good terms then. And to good luck to your travel, I. Celeste always talks so much shit to Fargus. Perhaps I've been around you too long, my friend. I'm beginning to see friends in every sh fiends in every shadow. Shabla, shabla. Part of becoming a man. Shabla, shabla. That was different. Our village was under attack by raiders almost constantly. Surely things are more peaceful on the mainland. Shabla. Hmm, I wonder. Land ho, gentlemen. Aye, Collie. Trim the sails, lads, and be spry about it. I know well you're keen for shore leave. Aye. Aye, aye, Captain. Well, it seems we didn't wait long to find out. Let us quit the deck and let them work. On. <laughs> on. Okay. It's on. Be careful with those yain braids. I just stack them starboard for now. We'll carden down when the dealing's done. We'll go make greetings with the Dockmaster for you, Captain. We're eager to look around town and to tread solid ground again. That's just dandy, Dara. Go on now. You're blocking the crew. All set to deport, Commander? Have been for hours, Dara. Let's be rid of the stinking tub already. First, though, I don't think we should let on that we've traveled with Fargus. He's been up to suspicious dealings, and I don't want us getting caught up in that. He says that things should be fine. Besides, lying is like it's like to cause trouble for us in our negotiations. I don't want to start out on the wrong foot here. I appreciate your concern. It is good that you're thinking about these things. Just don't think it's the right move here. Whatever you say, it'll be fine. Come on. The dialogue in these chapters are very hard to narrate. I don't know why. It's like, uh, it's very weirdly written. Oh, hi, generic armor knight. I'm sure you'll, you'll cause us no trouble. Old Goodman, who are you and what business do you have in Hemda? I am Dara the Tristan of the Alice, and these are my bodyguard. We... What say you? The Alice? I indeed. Could we get the necessary papers for... This the bloody Alice! Hold to arms! Seize that ship! <laughs> shabla, shabla! Surrender to our arrest, or face your execution! Not on your life, neighbor! Gato, Shen, Drill 33! They have a drill for this kind of stuff? That's kind of cool. Of course we get attacked. I should have known they'd pull a thing like this. Got too greedy for me own good. I suppose all hands to the oars. Let's get out of here! Tristan, sorry about this, mate, but I gotta look out for me own, don't I? Don't consider myself fit for... <laughs> don't consider myself fit right, right for the gallows, you understand? Wow, he just fucked off. Thanks, Fargus. You're an asshole in this game. <sighs> At least he got us across the strait, I suppose. No time for sentiment sentimentalities, Dara. We need to find a way out of here. You're right, let's get to it. Is this gonna be an escape chapter? Captain, sir, the Alice is retreating. Then stop wasting time and go signal the Coast Guard to sit after him. S sir, what about the or ones who debarked? The Archduke made himself clear. He wants no witnesses. I will see to them myself. Now move, I gave you a direct order. Sir! Hemda is one of the richest ports in all of Aleve, and its militia is populated by the bored sons of its merchants. These lads are exquisitely armed and trained by the best instructors in the land. They should be easy to pick out. We will have to carefully watch how the enemy commander deploys them, and try where we can to fight only the common dock guards. Understood. Ah, okay, so some of them are strong and some of them are not. Okay. Uh, so this is a regular soldier, this is a regular soldier... This is a regular soldier. Wait, Cohort? Oh, that's the class name, okay. So some of these guys are scary and others are not? Uh, that, yeah, okay, so this is one of the scary ones. Th this guy has the silver sword. Okay. And this this guy, too, has a heavy spear and an axe reaver. And they're level 11. Okay, I like it. So, try not to get on their... Yeah, try to avoid them. Pretty much. I could probably take them though, they're not that scary, but they do have reaver weapons. Let's take a look at the uh, boss Malefic Ma Maleficent. Maleficent? A soldier. Okay, so it's an escape chapter. Um, I'm not really sure how the escape chapters work in this game, if everyone has to escape or if it's just Tristan. I guess we'll, we'll find out. Anyway, this seems like, uh, oh shit, I have animations turned off. My bad. Let's see, let's do show animations on the player turn. That seems like a good idea. Yeah, there we go. I like the music uh, in this arc though, it's really cool. But yeah, try to avoid the uh, the scary soldiers. I guess we have to go around them unless we want to kill them. Something tells me that if I pull them, I'm going to lose. Because keep in mind, uh, this is chapter 1x, I've only had one chapter with these guys. 
And those guys are level 11, which seems pretty scary. Yeah, look at that. He has 14 speed. He's gonna double everyone. This guy's 15 defense. I'm not gonna be able to take that guy down. Anyway, maybe we should try to pull the cohort. Um, we can at the very least... Uh, we can probably stay outside his range, maybe. Shen has 34 hit points, though, so he should be good. Yeah, let's do that. I still don't really understand what the deal with the hatchet is. It's kind of annoying, really. Should be two range, but it's not. It annoys the shit out of me. Alright, so let's not get attacked by this guy. Let's send Celeste in front. And, uh, yeah, he has the refugee skill. I know I'm gonna fuck up uh, one day, and I'm gonna use it when I don't want to. Anyway, come at me, brass. That guy is very conveniently placed for Rina to deal with on the first turn. I don't mind that, though. Shit, cohorts are tough. Holy shit. But yeah, it definitely seems like you have to walk around those guys. You definitely don't want to deal with them. I really want to, though. <laughs> but I know it's a really bad idea. I mean, okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so he's, he's positioned in such a way. Wait a minute. Yeah, okay, so he has a heavy spear, so he's effective against Celeste. But he also has an Axe Reaver, so he's effective against all my other guys. And he doubles, so he'll most likely one-shot Reno. Yeah, he will. Oh my god. Heavy Spear is really heavy, though. Okay, so this is actually kind of funny. Um, the Heavy Spear slows him down quite a bit, actually. Five speed, so he has nine speed. Is that That's still enough to double... Oh my god, he actually doesn't have enough to double Celeste. But here's the question, do I really want to kill him? I, I, I do kind of do, though. Because right now, he's not doubling her. He is not doubling her. Because he only has three extra points of speed compared to her with the Heavy Spear. Oh my god, I know this is a terrible idea. But the Manx in me wants to try so badly. You don't get anything from killing him. Also, I, I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, but someone has pointed out that Shen is indeed the same Shen that you encounter in Alibian Knights. Oh wow, good job, Gato. So that is indeed the father of... I think it's the father of Lots? Yeah, it's definitely the father of Lot. Oh boy. Um, Alright, so Tristan can probably one-shot this guy. Yes, he can. Ugh. I still think that Tristan's regular attack animations look too much like a crit. <laughs> but there we go. C rank axis, lovely. And an iron axe, that's also lovely. Alright, let's try this. Ooh, we can support. Have we had this? I don't think we've seen this before, so I'm gonna read it out. Hey Celeste, do you have any advice for me about my axe work, I mean? For starters, you shouldn't stop in the middle of a fight to talk about it. Right. You have no focus. Your head is full of dreams, when it should be clear. Get yourself in order. I understand. I'll do better. Start right now. Shut your damn trap and start carrying your weight. Yes, ma'am. Ho oh, oh! ho! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Angry Mama over here is very mad. Maybe I should just visit this house. You there, are you interested in this hand axe? It's definitely not cursed, if that's what you wonder- Oh, he's gonna give me a devil axe, isn't he? Maybe 10% cursed, at most. It's fine, really. Have you been talking to my brother? He tends to be... He tends to dramatize things. A demonstration. Watch it cut that belt in one hurl. Aha! And it's just as good for close quarters combat. I can sweeten the deal. Take this axe, and I'll throw in some treasure maps. We've been using them as our livelihood until now, but ever since they brought us these damned, uh... Forget I said anything. Please take it to a collector. It's probably worth thousands. Oh my god. Why didn't he give me a hand... A devil axe? That'd be great. Alright. Oh, shit. Uh, I know the, the Heavy Spirit is probably gonna do triple damage. Oh! Okay. Yeah. I knew this would happen. Block the axis. We shall wrap our hands around them and then choke the life out. Oh, what? Oh, okay. So when you pull them... Right. Okay. Punished. We'll be right back. Alright, so we are back, and it seems like these guys show up uh, no matter what on this turn. It's turn two, I think? I don't know, how do you how do you see your turn here? Yeah, there we go, Th turn three. So, I'd like to explain, I think a lot of people are probably wondering why I do these things sometimes. Like, Mangs, what is it with your 
with your unwillingness to respect the game mechanic and always try to, like, break the rules. So it's quite obvious that the developers didn't want you to fight these guys, so why did you try to do it, okay? Now, I work in a very weird way when it comes to video games. When I notice that the developers don't want me to do something, I immediately, like, my first reaction is to see if I can get away with it regardless. I know this may seem a bit dumb, but I don't know if it's because I want to test the game to see if the design holds up or what it is. But I have this urge to see if I can go against the wish of the developers and still do what they don't want me to do. And if I manage to do it, I feel like I have sort of cheated the game. Or if I manage, like maybe I was smarter than the developers, you know? And I, I work like this in most games. If I notice that there's something I'm not supposed to be doing or if there's something that I shouldn't be doing, I still try to do it regardless, because I want to. I know it seems dumb, but I've always been like that. If I play, for example, I play a, a real-time strategy game like StarCraft, and I play... A, oh my god, he just got doubled. Fuck, I hate archers. And, for example, I get told to not attack a base, because they're so strong anyway, I still try to attack the base to see if I can kill them, you know? And maybe I get, like, a hidden achievement for it or something, you know? That, that's what I'm hoping for, so yeah. That's how I work, that's how I will always work. I know it's gonna piss some of you guys off, but I just can't help it. I really wanna try, so. Anyway, so, archers are, oh my, you gotta be fucking shitting me right now. That might just be a GG. That might actually just be a GG. Unless I can kill him with, with a hand axe, we shall see. I know this is a safe spot. It kind of sucks that I don't have a healer here yet. Maybe I'll get one or something in this chapter. That would certainly be nice. All right, so we can... Um, who has the hand axe? You have the... Oh, yeah, he can't even use it. I don't like to be the slow. But at the same time, I feel like I don't really have much of a choice. I think he might be doubling. No. Oh, my God. Yeah, he has weapon triangle advantage, too, so... Okay, this chapter is pretty fucking hard, despite not being on hard mode. I gotta say... Pretty scary stuff. I guess I'm just gonna have to vulnerable every turn to keep myself on high, uh, full health. Well, okay. You're not gonna do shit this lot. Also, that guy just blocked himself in, so that's actually fantastic. Uh, there we go. Wow, Tristan is busted. There we go. And now I actually don't have to worry about the archer again. I can probably just place Shen or someone to block him. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, if I think of how the mind of the developers work in this game, I'm pretty sure that Shen is the only one who needs to escape. But, uh, it would sort of be kind of silly if everyone needed to escape. Like, a uh, Tracia 776 style defense chapter. Anyway, uh, that archer can just stay there. I guess you should probably try to move somewhat quickly. I mean, I maybe I can set up Celeste to maybe visit this house next turn. Ah, 2% crit, though. So yeah, I, I think I've said a million times at this point that um, this game runs single RNG. It does not. I'm just really unlucky for some reason. So yeah, it does indeed run the double RNG that we're used to in other games. There's no single RNG shenanigans here. For some reason, it just seems like um, I miss a lot of 90 percenters. I don't really know why. Anyway, we got... This guy looks so fucking weird. Um, he has a worm. Cannot counter or be countered. Interesting. Oh, okay, so it's a one-range tome. Ha! That's kind of cool, actually. Or, actually, it's really shit. Wow, that's actually really shit. But it has a lot of might on it. So that's sort of good, I guess. Anyway. Oh, shit, I, I missed that sentence. Only the pure of heart can see it, else their tongues turn to snake and strangle them. Maybe, maybe you could remind me how it goes. If you don't know the pledge, or... Oh, just, uh, I just know a few different versions of it. Ah, I see. Well, it starts. I make this vow before the gods, even he most vile, in the knowing that they will strike me down should I forsake it. And while you're doing that, I'll have a look around. <laughs> I so swear to support and defend my fellow man, and make the <laughs> make whatever sacrifices I must for the sake of him. Next to us. Listen, fool, I'm taking this magic shield. We need it more than you do. That's, uh... You may be getting more than you agreed on there. Oh well, it's not my problem anymore. Hey, a Draco shield. Who should get that? Tristan, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I can probably place... Man, can you shove in this game? That'd be so great. Oh, wait. Okay, cool. We got a Shen support. I should probably make it so that uh, Reno pulls the Dark Mage. Oh, that's a crit. 
That was not a very easy to notice crit at all. Speed, plus one, lovely. So what should we do with this archer then? Just uh, keep Tristan in the back, I guess? I definitely want to see the Shen uh, Gato support though, so let's uh, unlock it. Uh, but we should probably do a Vulnerary again. Oh wow, I need I need Vulneraries. Do you have Vulnerary? Nobody has... Okay, fuck. That's not great. I guess we're just gonna have to find one then. Hey Shen, what kind of rock is this? You ever encountered anything like it? Feels like a she shell. Where did you find this? Or I don't rightly remember. Not near the sea anyhow. Could be that it was carried there by a bird, or that a long time ago, the sea once beached there. The coasts move over time, it is said. Why would a bird want it? Because it's pretty? No, Gato, a shell is like a house for certain types of creatures. The bird would have wanted the beast inside the shell. Oh, how do you always know all this stuff anyway? We've been together the whole lives, and I ain't never see you in no school. I used to read a lot when I was young. Since then, I made a point to hear as many stories as I could and shared them in terms with others. You're usually blind drunk when this is going on. Well, maybe I wouldn't drink so much if I knew I was missing out on stuff like this. Yes, you would. Yeah, I would. <laughs> oh, that's a clever support. I like it. That's really good. Oh, shit. He has a vulnerary. Asshole. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, well, first, let's kill this archer so Tristan gets uh, freed up. That, those are enemies. That's a soldier. Um... Let's see, how does Reno deal with this guy? Nine damage? Uh, okay. Wait, maybe I can place him in such a way- Oh my god, I can. I can place him in such a way where he takes counter- uh, Where he takes, um... Where he- Yeah, we, where he can lure in both of the Dark Mages. But, if I want to do that, I'm gonna have to... Oh wait, can someone rescue her? Ah, shit. This isn't good. Oh wait, wow, she has a lot of fucking vulnerabilities on her. Hey. Why don't you, uh, give that vulnerary away? Maybe, maybe Tristan can rescue her? Oh, he can refuge her. No, wait, that just puts him into her range. Yeah, that's, that's not gonna work. Oh, well. Not much we can do now. But I guess I can borrow a vulnerary to heal myself up. There we go. Yeah, so that Dark Mage is gonna go for Zala Snow, but that's fine, I guess. All right, that's good. And now those guys are moving as well. I wonder if those guys behind us are gonna start moving anytime soon. Uh, let us see. Okay, so he doubles with that axe, that's good. I think Reno can probably deal with the Dark Mage. As long as I kill all the soldiers with my axe users, I should be good. Shun and Gato are in range of both of them, I think? Yes. Uh, 18 damage with the fine axe. Yeah, I think if I if I gang up on this guy with Shen and Gato, they they should be all right. I still don't know how good supports are in this game. I is there an affinity in this game? There might not be actually. Yes, there is for sure. Wow, even regular soldiers have affinities. Holy shit, that's kind of cool. I like it. <laughs> that is actually really cool. Uh, okay, Celeste so can't do much to this guy. Maybe... Yeah, I'm gonna have to leave one Dark Mage alive, sadly. There we go. I wonder if both uh, Shun and Gato will promote at level 11. Are they both... Oh my god, are you fucking shitting me right now? Are they both recruits? I think they are, aren't they? I think they both have four move. Uh, They do. So they're both, like, recruiting guys. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill this guy now, and then I'm just gonna have to leave the Dark Mage alone and hope that he doesn't kill one of my units, which he shouldn't be able to do, because all my units are on high health. Is Reno a uh, recruit as well? Yes, he is. I guess he turns into a monk or something? There we go. Alright, so this chapter seems fairly simple, as long as no more reinforcements come out. Oh, what?! What? Oh my god, I didn't notice him being alone. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game, holy shit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am back, and uh, holy shit, this chapter does not screw around. I got critted twice by that fucking archer uh, here. 
Not not this archer. The archer that stands over here. It's fucking annoying. I have to like restart two times. I think that was very low percentage criticals too. Archers in this game, they don't fuck around, alright? They don't fuck around. Don't don't fuck around with the archers, okay? It's really unexpected to have to watch out for archers. Like they're literally one of the scariest enemy types. I mean they've gone from being a complete joke to being something that you actually need to watch out for, which, you know, I kind of like. I, I like it. I wonder if they may have got a little bit of... Look at that! Look how much damage he does! It's crazy. Um, so yeah, it's like my fourth attempt, I think, at this chapter. Uh, yeah, as I said, this, uh... It's not even hard mode! Like, it's not even hard mode. I love it, though. I absolutely love it. But this is why I felt the need to restart. Because the difficulty curve of this game is a lot higher than I expected, so... It's actually really important to play properly from the start. I hate to say it, but using Eagler too much and using your Jagans is actually a pitfall. Also something that I realized I'm not being good at, I really need to trade my armor band around a lot more. I think it gives like a 30% defense growth or something, so it's like a Crusader Scroll, it's really big, and it also um, gives you rest plus too, so I really need to, to trade this thing around as my units are about to level up. It's actually something that I really should be doing more often, so... Um, if I can set up a kill for one of my units, I should definitely trade the defense band from Tristan over to the unit who's about to land the kill. Like, uh, I don't think that Shen gets enough experience for a kill here, but then again, he is sort of a recruit, so maybe he will. There we go. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over here, I'm going to trade the armor band over. And I'm going to get a kill here. I'm going to use the hatchet just for accuracy purposes. There we go. It might it might give him a level. I mean, journeymen's get a lot of experience. Ah, almost. He could just keep it, though. Alright, so we're closing in on the boss. It wouldn't surprise me if we get some more reinforcements. Um, again, this is, a de this is an escape chapter done right. Although I feel like... These guys could probably chase you a little bit more. They probably will in hard mode, though. They're just stand still for now. And these guys have really, really good equipment as well, so you really don't want to be fighting them. Anyway, does the boss move? I think the boss actually might move, so... Let's equip a hand axe and see what she got. I mean, since we can see her movement range, I assume she moves. Yeah, is it a guy or a girl, actually? I'm not sure. It might be both. I think it's a guy. What is this madness? The Alice is long gone, and we were only passengers upon it. We have nothing to do with this business, whatever it is. Then it is a tragedy that I must do this, but I, but, but do what I must. There are things that stake much larger than you and I. Fates of a great many. You have no idea. Oh wait, why didn't I? Oh wow, holy shit! Usually bosses get animations, but not this guy. No, if words gets, gets out of the Archduke's plan, all of this will have been for naught. Does that cause everyone to attack me now? Yeah, th those those are some scary guys again. Axe Reaver and oh, Boshin. Can't get it though. Would have liked to, but can't get it. Anyway, I feel like I'm using the bearded axe too much, but it's just too much fucking fun. I love this axe. Also, I noticed something really cool uh, when I was replaying uh, regarding weapon effect effectiveness. The Weapons that are effective against multiple classes, they get plus two, or times two effectiveness. Whereas, weapons that are only effective against one specific uh, class gets times three. So, for example, a horse slayer would get times three against horses, but this bearded axe only has times two against armored and horses. I think this is actually kind of cool because it makes the single effective weapons a lot better. Uh, it's sort of nice. It's a very nice balance compromise. I really like it. Anyway, let's see what's in this house. It's madness! I haven't been able to run any business with the port locked down for the great general ships. The rest of us just have to sit on our hands while he runs them back and forth to Ilya and the Isles. How are we to eat? How do I throw dice if I have nothing to add to the cup? Meanwhile, his purse just gets fatter and fatter, because he's putting no coin into the ventures in the first place. It's all being paid for by the crown! I should hope he soon decides he has gathered enough, because at this rate, he's going to have to move to the city and start begging. You'll be fine, old man. So yeah, we want to stay away from this guy. He's kind of scary. The captain has fallen. Kill him, kill him now. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay, these guys at the very least haven't started moving yet. Holy shit, that would have been bad. Alright, you know what? I really shouldn't be using the bearded axe as much. I should be giving kills to my other units as well. I guess we're about to find out if Tristan is the only one who needs to escape, or if everyone actually needs to escape. So... 
I think Gato is the one with the uh, armoring. So I should probably make sure that Gato gets this kill. I think so, at the very least. Uh, nope, he does not have it. Can't trade it to him either, but I guess it's better that Gato gets this kill than Tristan get another kill. 69! Alright! Let's escape! I hope I didn't lose the other units now. <laughs> Hopefully not. Uh, oh my god, I got an S rank. Woohoo! Ah, oh, shit. We're getting chased. Reno, where is Reno? Dara, we must move. No, not without Reno. Reno! Shabla, shabla! Good, good. Tristan, enough already. Damn, we're aground here for minutes and we're already in the enemies of the state. How am I to speak with our leaders now? Do I tell them of this conspiracy? We'll figure out that later. Move, Dara. Ah, so now it makes more sense that you're actually fighting these guys with the alien mercenaries. Ah, alright. So now I think we are just resuming the normal story. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you so much for uh, watching. Uh, remember to tune in to tomorrow's stream at 9 o'clock Central European time with myself and the lovely Luis. We're going to be playing the defense chapter, the Uther-style defense chapter. Meanwhile, I'm going to keep playing the rest of this game off-screen until I reach that point, and I'm going to take care to get my recruits all promoted until that chapter, because it's actually really fucking hard. Anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.